Da -da -da -da. The if statements. We finally made it here. So the if statement, it's probably the first thing you heard as a programmer, and you felt pretty proud of yourself, didn't you? Yeah, you did. If you don't know about if statements, well, let's get to work. In PHP, if statements are pretty simple. You start with the if keyword itself, followed by the Boolean expression, and then the statement. So let's look at it right here. So we'll start off with an if statement. And basically, this is the structure right here. You have an if statement within the parentheses. You're going to put a Boolean expression that evaluates the true or false. And then you open up your curly brace. Some people like to put it right here and then do the body right there. I prefer it up here. So once the expression, if the expression evaluates the true, then the statement that's inside here gets executed. So we can say, we can just say if true, which in case, in this case, it will be true since we're passing it. We can say one of my favorite things, echo donkey. Let's see what that looks like. Let's refresh this page. Put up if statements, and there we go. Donkey gets printed to the screen. The expression of the it statements needs to evaluate to true or false, so we can have something, for example, like this, a is equal to 10, and we can say if, again, a is, let's say, greater than 5, which in this case, if 10 is equal to 5, which it is, it's going to be true, uh, we can say something very original like echo math. All right, let's go back over here, refresh, there we go math. So first thing donkey and then math. The expression does not have to be numeric though. It just needs to evaluate to true or false. So we can say like for example word is equal to, I don't know, confused. And we could say if word is equal to confused What's a good synonym for confused? Echo bum fuzzle. All right. So there we go. That's a cinnamon for <laughs> cinnamon. I just had a cinnamon roll, so <laughs> I guess that's why it's on my mind. But uh, synonym, confused bum fuzzle. There we go. All right. So if you're only uh, displaying one statement, you don't need to use curly braces, even though I think you should. So for example, in this case, we're using the curly brace even though we don't need to. So let's say one statement is equal to uh, true. And then we can say if one statement. In this case, you know, normally I would open up and close the curly brace like that, just for to be clear. But you can't just do hit enter. And you could say like uh, there it will for example, and this will actually print to the screen. So I know we didn't print this one to the screen, but let's go ahead and print both of them. Let's put a space next to each one of these, just so it prints a little nicer. And there we go, donkey, math, bum fuzzle, and teradiddle. Now, of course, if statements have multiple statements, they need to be surrounded by curly braces. So for example, let's say um, no books is equal to false. Let's just say, because we've been doing true this whole time. So then we can say if not <laughs> no books, which just evaluates the true again, we can, we can say some stuff. So for example, a bibliophobia, so I go bibliophobia. And book name is equal to, I don't know, insert your favorite book title. And then echo, I'm about to start writing my own, <laughs> my own book. And we'll just go ahead and connect, concatenate that uh, book name right here. And so as you can see right here, we have three statements. So one echo followed by variable assignment followed by another echo statement. So we'll go ahead and put a couple of spaces right here, just so that it prints again very nicely. So donkey, math, bum fuzzle, teradiddle, 
and then a bibliophobia, and I'm about to start writing my own book. Insert your favorite book title. Now you don't necessarily have to use curly braces if you don't want to for multi-statement purposes. Uh, even though most people do, you can use the colon and and if if that works better for you. So time is equal to six. Uh, for example, it refers to let's say six a.m. And then we can say if, and this time, instead of using the curly braces, what we're going to do is go a colon, and then we're going to write out, for example, um, echo something, and then end if. So if, I don't know, time is greater than 6, and time is less than 9, then we're going to end echo pendiculation. So what does that mean? Well, go ahead and look it up. And that's it about if statements. That's what I'm here to teach you. I'm not here to teach you what the meaning of each one of these words are, even though I think you should probably know them. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll basically look at else statements, because currently we've just been looking at if statements this entire time. Let's go ahead and refresh this thing one more time, see if Pendiculation pops up right here, and it doesn't because time is equal to 6, and we put a greater than. If we wanted to actually have it displayed, we would put greater than or equal to, in this case, pendiculation.